Guys, where do I actually begin? How do I actually begin to even talk about this? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is gonna be, I think, the first time me talking to you guys since Tommy and I made the biggest announcement of our entire lives. This is gonna be the first time me sitting down and chatting to you guys. I'm sat on the bathroom floor right now and if you hear a tremendous amount of building work, I'm just, I'm just gonna film through it. As I sit here talking to you all right now, I am currently 13, 13 weeks pregnant. I am pregnant. That literally, even after 13 weeks, still doesn't feel like it's coming out of my mouth when I say it. It feels like I'm listening to somebody else say it because I'm like, it's not possible that I could be saying that about myself. I'm 13 weeks pregnant. I've literally, I've done my first trimester, guys. I've been keeping secrets and I don't like it. Don't like it. Wouldn't recommend to a friend. Never want to do it ever again. This whole keeping pregnancy a secret thing is not for me. And as an oversharer, it's been physically murdering me. I just can't believe it. And I feel like I'm talking quietly when I say it because it still is just like a big, kind of like a big secret in my life. And currently only my very, very, very close circle know. It's been a crazy, crazy journey so far. It still doesn't feel real. I still can't believe I've even fallen pregnant. I had absolutely convinced myself that it was not gonna happen smoothly for Tommy and I with my endometriosis. As you guys know, I've brought you on that journey with me. And I just can't, I can't believe that I'm pregnant. Like, sorry for the building work, but yeah. Yeah, I just can't believe it. And I just feel like the luckiest woman on the planet. I know pregnancy can be a seriously, seriously like triggering and touchy subject for a lot of women that have conditions like endometriosis or polycystic ovaries or just have problems with infertility. Like I completely understand that it is a very sensitive topic. Through this whole journey, I want everyone to understand how understanding I am of that. Um, I am someone myself, as you guys know, that suffer with endometriosis and I hope this gives a little bit of a light and a little bit of hope to girls that also have it to show that it is possible. I know it's not possible for everybody, but I am just so, so, so blessed. I don't want to sit here for hours and hours and just blabber on and just talk and talk and talk about what's been going on, why you've not seen any content from me finding out until up to now in terms of like why I've not filmed anything and I'm coming to you at 13 weeks pregnant. You're probably thinking, where is the content? Like, where's the first few weeks? Like, we want to see everything, but I do have a lot to, to fill you guys in on and tell you about the journey because it, it hasn't been 100% smooth. Um, I've been, it's been very, very, very up and down. I definitely haven't found it um, mentally, mentally, not physically. Physically, I've been so blessed. Guys, I've not been sick at all. Can you actually believe it? I've not been one bit sick no sickness, literally none. Personally, all I've had to do to cure my little sickness moments has been to eat, which has meant that I've already gained a stone. <laughs> but we don't care, we don't care, guys. I've already, I told my midwife how much weight I'd put on already and she was like, <laughs> her face, she was like, oh, what? <laughs> That's not normal, but, um, I've, oh my gosh, the hunger has been my main symptom. But I think I'm gonna do a Q&A about all my symptoms, everything I've experienced, how I felt. Um, but my biggest challenge, 100% has been the mental challenge of the shock, because that is kind of why there is not, there isn't, I, how do I put this? I tried to film things for you guys. I, I even tried to film my reaction. I tried to film, I filmed Tommy's reaction. I just can't explain how the shock literally overtook my body for the first month, 100%. Like, I just felt like every single day I was living an outer body experience. My emotions were something that I've never experienced before. I cried maybe five times a day for no reason, just in tears over everything. I was so happy, but also just the shock. I can't, it's the shock for both Tommy and I. It just, it just, it's honestly taken, I'd say, up until now to sink in. Um, we have just literally been like 
every time we talk about it, it feels like we're talking about a situation that's not our own because it just, it was a complete shock, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'll talk about, I think I, I am gonna have to talk about like, how the baby was conceived, how the baby was conceived because we all flipping know how the baby was conceived. We all know that, but sort of how it happened and how it was a shock and how I was actually pregnant when we were on holiday in Dubai. <laughs> Can you believe I was actually pregnant when we were in Dubai and I didn't even know? But I have to do a story time all about that. And to add into the situation, we were going through a really, really tricky time with Tommy and his work and fights happening, they're not happening, and situations being completely out of our control, and me trying to emotionally support him whilst also also being in the <clears throat> emotionally hardest period of my entire life. So him trying to support me through that and me trying to support him, and it was just a very crazy few months. Please don't get it twisted and think that Tommy and I are not so beyond happy and this is all we've ever wanted. This is literally something we've spoken about since we first met. I don't I genuinely think there has not been a day that's gone past where we've not spoken about the day that, that we would have a baby together. Um, this is all we've ever wanted, but don't get me wrong, it was a different, it was a different experience at the start to how I pictured. And that's just the honest to God truth. And I don't feel like many people say that. You've probably not heard many girls online come on and say, yeah, it was, it was different. It wasn't, it wasn't magical. And I didn't cry when I found out, like I was that shocked that I physically couldn't feel, I couldn't feel emotion. That's the only way I can say it. I hope that gives someone a bit of comfort because it really, really would have comforted me um, to know that someone else was feeling. Because obviously going on YouTube and I was watching all my favorite YouTubers or like YouTubers that had, had children or even just people online, like when they film that experience of them finding out, telling their partner, all it's all like, oh, I'm so happy and I'm crying with happiness and it's amazing, amazing, amazing. And it is amazing, don't get me wrong, it is. And that's totally natural that they, that's amazing that they're like that. I wish I was. But yeah, from now on, I am gonna be bringing you guys on this journey with me. I actually don't plan to announce yet for another two months. Whether I get there or not, who knows? You guys will know when I posted this, whether I made it or not. Five months pregnant I'd like to be when I post and announce to you all, but I don't know. The newspapers have actually already contacted Fran yesterday saying that someone's tipped them off, but I don't know if that's just a coincidence. <clears throat> but I was just about to take off on a flight yesterday coming back from National PRT. Fran rang me and she was like, um, I think someone's tipped the papers off because they're all calling me today, asking me if you're pregnant. So I don't know what's happened there, but I don't think it can be just a coincidence because it has happened a lot of times before where people think I'm pregnant. And also the biggest giveaway right now is my gigantic, gigantic boobs. Oh my gosh, I'm sure you, well, not sure, I'm sure, but some of you guys may have seen on my Instagram, you'll be like, oh, that's why I've never had more questions about a boob job in my entire life. They are huge, they are literally huge. I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I actually give birth because they double in size then and mine have already tripled in size. I had to go and get all new crop tops, all new bras the other day, hilarious. I have so much more to say and so much more to fill you in on, but I've been filming for 17 minutes and actually me and Tommy have a scan this afternoon. I have booked an extra little scan. I'm actually past 12 weeks and I've already had my 12 week scan, but Tommy was away for it because I didn't actually know I had a 12 week scan, basically. I'm not gonna get into the story, but I had a 12 week scan and Tommy wasn't there because I didn't know I had one, so he was away. So I've booked another one so that he can come to it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head for our, it's gonna be a 13 week scan now. And um, I'll vlog a bit and bring you along. I don't want it just to be like a full video of me just sat here waffling on. I'm pregnant. What the hell, I'm pregnant. <laughs> So guys, we are now on our way to something very exciting. I'll let you, I'll let you take it away. This is the first time as well you seeing Tommy since I'd have posted the announcement video on YouTube. So we are on our way to the hospital because we're birthing clinic. Well, the birthing clinic. Yeah. Because Molly is now pregnant. Which she's is, impregnated. She's impregnated by myself, um, obviously. Um, and it is the best news, honestly, guys, that I've received throughout my life. You know, being able to get pregnant and fall pregnant is an absolute blessing. Um, and I thank you, Lord, amen, that he's thrown his blessing down upon me and Molly. We're ecstatic, you know, we're ecstatic to be a little family. And I feel like it's the next chapter in our life. And we just honestly cannot wait. And every little moment like this, you know, going to each scan, going to each blood test, whatever it may be, 
oh I'm going down here yes um, going to each blood test and whatever it may be it's just something that we'll treasure forever yeah these are special moments aren't special, they special special moments we've actually had a six week scan that Tommy came to do you want to tell them about that what did you see at the six week scan because I don't think you um, are realising how different yeah, this no. scan is going to so, be so at the six week scan, all I was seen was like a little, all, all you got to see was like a little heartbeat. Uh, no, it was like a little jelly bean, wasn't it? It was, it was like a, like a, a dot, wasn't it? Like a white dot. Yeah. And um, that kept flashing up every now and then. And the you screen. can see it's little heartbeat as well. Yeah, um, but I think it's going to be surreal today because today we actually get to see a baby that's being it's formed. Like, it's like a proper with the arms I and know, legs. Well, it's, what's it? it's the size of like a jelly bean now, isn't oh, it? Oh, I'll have a look. What's it the size of? I've really been loving that pregnancy plus app. It might be a, app. might be a pistachio. It's not a pistachio. Okay. It's a bit bigger than that now. It's only quite, quite big now. A brownie. Let me see. Our baby is now the size of a chocolate brownie, and also. What week's that? Thirteen. Is it? That's, so it goes quite big, doesn't it? Look, guys. It's a duckling. So it goes from a brownie to a duckling. No, yeah, I don't. The brownie's not very accurate because. Yeah, no, that's. Like brownies that's, would be like, but a duckling's like. I know that's what I'm saying. So. That's silly. It's not making any sense. It's not a brownie. I know. Here you go. The baby's the size of a peach. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But um, yeah, we're very excited. I'm excited because I explained to them basically that. I didn't know I had a scan, you went away. So I had, well, me, me Maura and Erin went, which is actually really cute. And I just was not expecting at all to see what we saw. So I just know that Tommy's gonna be like, I'm oh. trying to reiterate that. We didn't know we had a scan. <laughs> we didn't know Because we had I would have not missed it. Oh my God, did you see those bunnies? Uh, there was bunnies in the grass. Was it? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna go see our own bunny. We got our own bunny to attend to, man. guys just checking back in to i'm calling this my first trimester vlog now i'm pretty much sure that's what this is going to be called so i'm just checking back in how are we all doing um it's uh, i probably should have checked in sooner i'm not gonna lie but i keep thinking to myself i've got so much time to update them because i'm not announcing for so long yet the last clip i was 13 weeks uh, i was 13 weeks pregnant and I'm now nearly 17 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so I actually today had my 16 week scan, um, which was amazing. It went really, really well. Um, the doctor said that the baby is doing amazingly. They are really, really like looking amazing, like look fully healthy and everything. And you know what the hottest thing is as well, guys? Tommy and I know the gender of the baby now. <laughs> We know what we're having, but I don't know if I will have, I don't think I will have put that out yet. Um, so I am just gonna have to sit on that. And when I refer to the baby now, I'm gonna have to refer to it as they or them, which is gonna be so hard because we're just like calling the baby. Well, we already have the baby's name <laughs> as well. Um, we had been set on names basically since the day i came out of the womb myself i had my baby names sorted um so that wasn't even a question like they were already picked um but yeah we know the gender of the baby ah! can you see bread in the background by the way my little my little folded up can you see him you can't see me he's just literally there so i actually flew back from paris this morning it was like 5 a.m our flight it was slightly torturous um still barely anybody knows um just like a, still a really, really, really tight knit circle of people know. Um, so I can't believe like how, like, I don't know, like when I used to picture pregnancy and stuff, like I don't wanna be too rambly in these sections of the vlog, but basically when I used to picture pregnancy and like, when I used to picture maybe like the day I would be lucky enough to fall pregnant or have a baby, I just, 
you hear like not disasters but you often hear that like oh you're gonna be so sick oh it's gonna be a nightmare oh you're gonna be like this you're gonna be that and I am just I cannot get over how lucky I've been like I've managed to get to nearly 17 weeks I've not been sick I've not felt poorly I've not been too tired I've not I literally cannot get over it like I am so flipping surprised and just hope this is also a bit of a representation that like everybody's pregnancy is so different but like don't always expect the worst because like the minute I found out I was pregnant I was like oh my god the next nine months are gonna be hell like how am I gonna work how am I gonna do anything how am I gonna function like, I'm gonna be so poorly but like not everybody has that experience I know some people do it's definitely definitely now getting to a point though where I am struggling quite a bit um with I guess hiding it because not so much that like I have a bump because I'll probably show you even though I'm so I literally I, I'm, I am really really struggling with my body at the minute I knew I knew that was going to be the, the thing that I struggle with the most out of this whole entire journey like even if I was to be sick or to be poorly or like to have issues like I just knew that over everything mentally a struggle for me would be like well it would be a mental struggle but it's a physical thing that's happening that I mentally struggle with like just seeing the changes to my body because I've I've never I've never really like I've spoken bits about like body image and stuff but I know it's a really really touchy subject but I just I've not always I've always struggled with my body a bit basically I've always been quite self-conscious of my body I don't tend to like I've never really been like that girl that is excited to put on a bikini for a holiday like or in the side I don't like summer and spring because I don't like wearing revealing clothes like I don't like getting my skin on show um I've always struggled with body confidence is what I'm trying to say so I knew that this was this part of the journey and like watching my body change which it has so much already which is absolutely fine and it's amazing and it's meant to be changing um but it's just it I knew it was gonna be hard for me and I think now that people are definitely starting to notice on my Instagram and stuff <laughs> I posted some stories for a gym brand the other day and I the comments that I was getting in my dms I literally just wanted to just curl up in a ball and just fold into the ground there was nothing bad but everyone was just like oh like the weight gain looks good on you girl or like loving the weight gain or like you're glowing with the weight gain um loads of people guessing that I'm pregnant because I don't know how more people haven't guessed like I think it's really obvious like my boobs are flipping gigantic and I've said I've not had a boob job so like yeah no weight gain can make you get big boobs but like what's the other obvious reason as to why my boobs have gone about to a triple z it's a hard enough thing to sort of like see the change with your body without people sort of like recognizing it and then like reminding you of those changes. But then like when I'm seeing all these DMs of like, oh, like you've gained weight or like, it's just like, oh, I don't want to read that. I'm just really excited to be able to announce soon. Um, I put my bottle of water in the freezer by the way for literally five minutes and it turned into a full on ice cube. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited to be able to announce. Not even because I like want to get the news out there. I actually am so excited to announce so that I can start to feel like a, it's more real because it still doesn't even feel real because it's a secret and like we're not we don't talk about it like we don't talk about it like there's we have builders in the house day to day so like even day to day in the house it's like but too far I think they probably know because they literally saw the gender of a balloon in the kitchen um and if they put two and two together there's been like baby clothes lying around everywhere because I haven't started to buy things basically we just don't talk about it day to day. B, I'll be able to start just like accepting my body and like not trying to hide it. I just feel like there's a big elephant in the room that's not Ellie Belly. It's a big elephant, bigger than Ellie Belly. And it's just like, I, I don't know, I can't wait for just to be able to feel like my life's not just one big secret anymore. But I'm gonna check out the section of the vlog now because each section I'm coming in is 10 minutes long. And like, that's not what you guys have signed up for in this vlog. So really sorry about that. I just flipped and realized something as well. This isn't even a first, what an idiot. This isn't even a first trimester vlog. This isn't even a first trimester. I'm in my second trimester. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. This is not even my first trimester vlog. This is my second trimester vlog. I don't know what this vlog is going to be called, but it's going to be called something. Um, but it's definitely not going to be called first trimester vlog because 17 weeks. I'm not in my flipping first trimester. Right, I'm going now. Love you all and I'll see you all very soon. Hi, can I please get a hot chocolate with skimmed milk? Yeah, can I also get an iced latte um, with skimmed milk and sugar-free uh, caramel syrup? Yeah. And do you have any blueberry muffins? Uh, yeah, we should do. I'll just uh, yeah. take one of those, please. And yeah, then, on. yes, thank you. And then a bottle of uh, water, please. Yeah, open up. No, that's everything. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thanks. 
Hi guys! How are we all doing? My camera is going to fall off. But this is my next entry to my first pregnancy vlog, which I still am like I've been thinking so much over the last couple of weeks that I can't believe I was calling it a first trimester vlog for so long. When I'm currently 21 weeks, 21 weeks pregnant. 21 weeks I am at the minute. And guess where I'm off to right now? I'm currently off to our 20 week scan, um, which is in half an hour. I've just popped to a Costa drive through en route. I'm meeting Sir Thomas Fury there. And yeah, I'm really excited to see our baby. Apparently this is like a really important scan where they do loads of measurements and stuff, but I actually thought that was a 16 week scan. I also can't believe it's been like a month since our last scan. It just, these months and weeks go so quickly. Um, but I am announcing really soon. I'm announcing really soon. And guys, you know at the start of this video I said, I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get to five months. Like I'm heading on six months now. I'm heading on six months. When I announce, I'll be closer to six months than I will be five months, which is absolutely absurd. I've literally got, when I announce, and people say, how long, how long have you got left? I'm gonna have three months left three months i'm not going to be giving specific dates i'm just going to keep those to myself i will do sort of like my final update of like how i've been feeling and all that good stuff when i get home because i feel like this isn't really a nice setup i feel like a lot of this vlog has been in cars actually it's such a cozy day today it's rainy it's windy it's cold i've got my first winter jumper on even though it's not winter um but i'm, I'm treating it as winter right i'm going to go up to the window now and grab my drink i got the hot chocolate by the way um, before you come at me and be like, you can't drink coffee. Um, the coffee is for Tommy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And uh, that should be fine. Thank you very much. Bye. My car has just gotten soaking wet. It's really raining, but I'm absolutely loving it. Anyway, I'm going to drive to our appointment now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see our baby and I keep going to call the baby the gender. And I can't do that, right? This is illegal what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna go, love you all, and I'll see you when we get to the scan. <laughs> Nice coffee. Try it's it. Nice, yeah. It's hammering it down. It's so Honestly. rainy. And fingers crossed. Everything is good. Are you excited to see the baby? No. Obviously, I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. What things you have to check for today? Is it like a specific type of stuff you have to look for? Or is that more like in the last scan? No, no, that is now. There's, oh, okay. a, there's a sort of, you know, a list of parts. Butte valves and oh, okay. pipes and all that. We did most of it last time. So baby's heartbeat there. Baby's head down. Big. Quite a good position. Whoa. Right? Huge. A little chew on that fist. <laughs> good evening, good evening, good evening guys. How is everyone doing? Just another check-in from me on the worst vlog ever. I was actually looking at this vlog because I've not watched this vlog in ages. It's just been on my computer titled Shh, S-H-H-H-H. I don't know why I called it that. And I realized I literally only made like three entries basically, like four entries in the space of my whole pregnancy so far, which has been quite a long journey. It's been quite a long journey. I am also officially firing my boyfriend as my scan videographer because when i've watched like other girls um like vlogs when they include parts from their scans they their boyfriends get like the best footage and it's so cute and you get to see like all like cute parts of the scan and like them holding hands for me i get a pitch black room and tommy films the parts where baby isn't even cooperating so when i looked back at that i was highly disappointed so yeah apart from him getting fired because of the 20 week scan it actually went really really well the doctor said that 
our baby is looking amazing and the baby was actually showing the doctor certain things that he said like are quite rare to see so then I was like oh my god our baby's like a I don't know like an overperformer. like they're doing really great the baby was showing the doctor like parts of their like spine and parts of their heart and like sometimes the doctor would be like oh like you don't get to see that normally or like oh like I haven't seen that in a while and I was like that's our baby like our baby's just showing everything that, they, that the doctor needs to see so we were like really proud little parents in that scan we have actually also now announced which has been absolutely insane and I can't believe as well when I was watching this video back um, that at the start of this video I'm like I'm aiming to get to five months and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do it and from this video you, video you guys are gonna know if I have or not and I did and I'm just like I don't know like so proud of myself and Tommy and like my little circle of trust that we like actually managed to I don't know like just keep our little secret our secret you know I just really didn't think it was gonna happen the response has been like I can't even explain it. It's been so overwhelming and I still can't process the fact that now everybody knows. It's also been killing us. Everybody desperately trying to work out, um, well, first of all, the gender. Um, <laughs> I've seen like all kinds on TikTok. I would say I've seen just as much stuff of like each gender, people guessing both. Like I think it's very, very split. I've also seen videos of people trying to guess our exact due date. <laughs> it's just hilarious like there was this one video of this group of like um I think they were like training midwives or something and they were all like fully having a debate about my due date and that just really made me laugh I popped a little Q&A on my story today and most of the questions I got were like please can you tell us your due date please can you tell us like when baby's due and I don't know why but it's just not something that I'm like gonna share specifically like from like my videos and stuff you guys are definitely gonna work out like around the time that baby is due like if I had my if I was 21 weeks in my last kip and that wasn't that long ago, like, <laughs> well, you know, I'm sure you guys can work out, like, roughly when baby is due. Um, but I just feel like sharing dates and stuff, like, anything could happen, you know. I've actually annoyingly come down with a bit of a flu. Um, I'm also doing another vlog, which is going to be my next vlog, you guys will see. Um, and I've been explaining in that, like, I've come down <clears throat> with a bit of, like, a... I'd say like my first kind of sickness throughout um, my pregnancy so far, I've, I've kind of got this like weird fluey cough cold type thing, um, which I'm gutted about because I've managed to get this far without having anything. I think I'll do one final check in tomorrow with Tommy or in the next couple of days. Um, and then I'm going to get this vlog up ASAP really um, for you guys to watch because I want to like get started with, with like my normal YouTube content again and like you know, posting normal videos and just getting back to it. So yeah, I want to get this vlog up as soon as possible, but I don't want to end on the note of me having the flu and not feeling very well. Night guys. So I did say that I'd finish the vlog off with Tommy in it. And this is the not so fun part. This is probably the least funnest part of the pregnancy so far. So this is going at the end of the okay. first okay. pregnancy vlog. And this is probably the saddest part of the whole experience because it is. I'm now not gonna see this man for six weeks. In that time, I'm gonna go from being Okay, we have enough. <laughs> We've got someone at the door. Let me take you out the cupboard because that lights miles off. Huh? I did say I would end this with Tommy and I in it because I know Tommy's not really been in it that much. But will you be in my Q&A? Because I'm filming a Q&A soon basically about like the experience through pregnancy and stuff. It depends. If oh it, yeah, if you're going to be if, fair. If, if I'm here, I'll be in it. If I'm, here, if I'm not here, then I won't be in it. <laughs> yeah, basically what entails like now for the next six weeks is that he stays away and I will see you like in drips and drabs like I'll see him maybe uh, at the weekends and stuff and I'll drive down to where he's staying but that's Still. just the way it's gotta be and next time well, when, when we're back, properly back together again like living together I will be seven months over seven months when we're living together and sharing the same bed. That's what it is, basically. Tommy goes away from camp, so we can't have any good sexy time. No, yeah, no, basically, that's, that's why I'm very <laughs> no, depressed. No, 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 basically, <laughs> that's just part of it. It's basically just how it is with boxing. Anyways, we're gonna be parents soon. Our vida zine. How do you feel about becoming a dad? I feel very, very good, and it's, uh, it's very hard to go away. A lot harder than the other times, purely because I know that our child is currently in the oven. So Cooking away. It's tough. It's tough to go away, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. But you only be a phone call away. I'm only a phone call. If there's away. any emergency, he needs to get out the door. Okay. Love you.
Love you. Love See you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him so much, and I am really sad right now. But I'm I'm trying to like not finish this vlog in a sad mood. Um, my flu is getting a little bit better, like my coldy cough thing that I've had the last few days. Um, it's getting a little bit better now, which is good. It's probably gonna be the most special vlog I'll ever upload, but it's probably not of the best quality <laughs> in terms of the clips that I managed to get and stuff. Yeah, just chuck them on the stairs. Alright, I'll see you later. I love you. Love you. Oh, an extra kiss. Love you. Love you. Well, I'll text you. I'll text you. Okay. All right then. Bye. I really do feel like from now onwards though, I will be filming more and sharing more. I just didn't feel ready at the start and I just never expected to feel the emotions that I felt when finding out I was pregnant. I always envisioned it would be a certain way, but it really wasn't the way that I envisioned and not in a negative way in just that like if you are watching this and you felt or like you're feeling and you've just found out you're pregnant and you're feeling like so shocked that you almost feel like do I even feel happy and then you feel guilty like but I, I, I don't know I can't explain it I just want you to know that however you're feeling if you find if you just found out you're pregnant like it's okay to feel that way take it from me it can take a good minute to sink in and I wish someone had told me that it was okay to feel the way I was feeling when I found out um, and for the months after that it really did take me that long but anyway, busy week of work starts tomorrow. We made it to the end of this video. I love you millions. Thank you for watching what might possibly be the most special vlog that I've ever filmed. Even though, as I've said, not the best vlog I've ever filmed, but the most special. And I'm so excited to bring you guys on the rest of this journey with Tommy and I. I love you all and I'll see you very soon. Bye.